Hi, this is Mariano Gomez, and uh, today I want to demo the new uh, JSON function and some of the JSON formatting capabilities that are available with uh, the latest uh, updates in Power Apps. So let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually add a camera control that I'm going to put here. Um, you might be prompt to actually authorize your camera for, uh, you know, to authorize the application to access your camera. You must, um, you must acknowledge that in order to proceed. I'm also going to add a, an image control here. And the purpose of this image control is to show what our camera uh, is capturing. So basically, I'm going to size this out a little bit. And finally, I'm going to add a label here. And uh, that label is going to actually show the JSON serialization of the image that I'm capturing. I'm going to make this as big as possible just to um, uh, be able to show as much as I can and um, of, the of the serialized object. Then I'm just going to go home here and change this to 10 points. Okay. Uh, with that said, uh, the other thing that we're going to do is because we can transfer the, uh, we can actually create a formula on the label itself that serializes the um, the content of the camera. We're going to have to actually do that, um, you know, via a uh, global or a context variable. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the following. Uh, I'm going to add a button. And that button is going to do a simple initialization for our um, for our demo here. So I'm just going to type here um, update context. And uh, we're going to set a variable called my image. And right now the value of that is going to be blank. Okay. So good. The next thing I want to do is I want to actually assign the text property here to basically be my image. Okay, that's good enough for now. All right, so and uh, we're just going to rename this quickly and call this initialize. The one thing we want to do is when we capture this particular um, property here when we capture the picture of in this camera we want to actually make sure that this image becomes um, camera one that well, actually camera two that's the name of the variable that photo okay cool camera two that photo will be exactly what we capture now um, in addition to that we will want that uh, on select property here, just so we can see this clearly. If you set this to um, JSON, right? As the new JSON uh, formula or the new JSON function. So we are going to set this to camera one, that uh, photo, okay? And um, we are also going to serialize this uh, to be basically um, to include the binary data. So this is actually the, the cool and critical aspect of this. Uh, we have squiggly lines here. So this is camera to that photo. And um, once we get this in place, then we should be able to show the different um, uh, options of this. So I'm just going to play here. And I'm gonna click this camera one that photo, and now you can see the serialized context of um, of that particular uh, picture that was captured. So here we are uh, with a new serialization option for um, images directly in Power Apps. So now we can take this, wrap this up nicely, and send it to um, Flow. Uh, do some analysis with Cognitive Services if we want Azure Con Cognitive Services and um, or store this image natively in uh, SharePoint or any other um, any other type of uh, storage container and um, 
it will basically make your life a lot easier uh, in order to work with images now from directly from power apps now um, you can start playing around with this i know there's a lot of um, you know image type applications out there so uh, give this a shot see if it works for you and uh, provide some comments thank you very much for watching